For long as I can remember, neediness has been looked down upon in our modern age. People do everything they can to not look needy or come across as not depending on others. Not me, not anymore. I'm dependent and I'm needy. <clears throat> Humans are supposed to be like this. We're social human creatures, right? Imagine a tribe and the early human beings. Imagine that when they were living their life, they had to contribute. They had to grow as a community. If they haven't, then we would have never been here, right? So they were dependent on others. They were dependent on the tribe members. They were dependent on other human beings. When you look at a lone wolf, he never survives. He's not with the pack. He will be alone and eventually he'll die by himself. The world we live in today has ripped us apart from being needy. Now we have that daydreaming of becoming that lone wolf, which is extremely unhealthy because I believe relationships is one of the most vital areas that everyone has to work on. There's a dependency paradox. When you feel comfortable and secure, depending on someone, you actually get more independent, right? You start to become more adventurous, but in our modern age, it's not normalized, right? Neediness is not normalized. Depending on others is not normalized. And that's why there's this whole spectrum where femininity and masculinity is just like a, a whole problem at the moment, right? And that's a whole different topic that we could discuss about. But the dating market heavily undermines neediness and dependency. But nowadays, dating apps and social media apps give you lots of notifications, right? Which naturally makes them, makes people become more avoidant, right? As a guy, you could uh, relate to this. Imagine a girl just getting so many notifications from other guys, telling her she's beautiful, gorgeous. Of course, she's going to think she's a rock star, right? And of course, she's going to feel like she's all that. And as a guy, all we're just looking for is comfort and connection. When your need for comfort and connection are, aren't being fulfilled, you're distracted. I think intimacy is a basic need for humans, right? That's how we operated before and that's how we should operate now. It's a basic need such as like water and food. But I feel like if it's not met, then it's not one of the best feelings ever. Imagine a lone wolf, right? Just going through his life, scrolling on social media, playing video games. Doesn't have that sense of connection or secure feeling or that comfort. Of course, he's going to be alone. Of course, he's going to feel lonely. There's a difference between being alone and lonely. But of course, that person is going to be feeling lonely because he has no sense of connection or any relationships or people to talk to. I want a life full of beautiful connections and relationships. I'm personally leveling up to become that person who attracts people who I want in my life. I want to be able to provide. I want to be able to become a leader and just help people out in general. And I want to normalize that, hey, neediness is all right. We need to come as a community and work on becoming better human beings. <laughs> I think relationships is one of the most vital parts or areas of your life that a lot of people need to focus on. And I think you need to focus on that right now because you're listening to this video. But yeah, just remember neediness is normal. You could depend on others, but don't become too needy because that's a problem. Here's a few things I wanted to discuss about the anxious attachment style because I personally have the anxious attachment style and I understand what it feels like to be anxious in a relationship. So number one is the fear of abandonment. That's one of the characteristics, right? You feel like that person might leave you. And this fear, this fear could lead to cling, being too clingy or having that dependent behavior. Number two is need for reassurance. Being reassured is all right, but re being reassured too many times could be a turn off for some people. So remember that. So for this, you just got to focus on yourself as much as you can. You got to come to a point where if you level up, you got to understand that you're very valuable. Okay. 
So keep on leveling up. Keep on becoming better. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to really have that need for reassurance. Or at least try to figure out a way to reassure for yourself to have that reassurance. Number three is heightened emotional responses, right? So you may experience more intense emotional reactions, particularly when they feel their relationship is at risk, right? This could lead to heightened levels of anxiety, sadness, or frustration. So sometimes, I'm going to be completely honest here, I tend to hyperventilate. And one thing I've been doing that has been helping me out is I have this app called Medito. It's a meditation app. I literally put on my noise canceling earphones and just meditate for three to five minutes. One of the best feelings ever because you get instructions and there's no one bothering you, right? So of course, go into a room, put on those noise canceling earphones and just get straight to meditating. Difficulty trusting. We all have this issue. I'm pretty sure that we can't trust people in our modern age, especially nowadays because people tend to just break people's trust very easily. Another thing is tendency to overanalyze. So I'm someone who overanalyzes a lot and I'm trying to figure out a balance. I'm trying to figure out where I don't overanalyze, but I just analyze, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, that's just pretty much it. Neediness is normal. You should want to have full of connections in your life and beautiful relationships. Relationships are needed to feel so, so you can feel secure and connected and fulfilled. Remember that. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine. <laughs>